Hi, Dave Jones here again. Um, we're going to look at the uh, the blue scale, two octave blue scale. Uh, again, if you're following these scale lessons, this is a movable scale form. Um, I'll keep banging on about this, but you might not have seen the previous ones. Uh, PDFs, as usual, up on the website. Um, and the, uh, the table of notes at the bottom tells you um, what the notes are along the E string and where you play this scale. Depends on what, what key you call it, A, B, C, whatever. We're going to do it in A simply because all the others are in A and it's mid-neck. So what I'll do is I'll take you to a close-up of the, the blue scale and then I'll talk a little bit about it. Okay, so this is the A2 octave blue scale. We're starting with the root note A on the thick E string uh, with the first finger. Then we're going to play the eighth fret with the fourth finger. Go down to the um, A string. We're going to play the fifth fret with the first finger, the sixth fret with the second finger, and the seventh fret with the third finger. Then we're going to go down to the D string. We're going to play the fifth fret with the first finger, the seventh fret with the third finger. Then we're going to go down to the G string. We're going to play the fifth fret with the first finger, the seventh fret with the third finger, and the eighth fret with the little finger, the fourth finger. Then we're going to go down to the B string, and we're going to play the fifth fret with the first finger, the eighth fret with the fourth finger, and down to the high E string and play the uh, fifth fret with the first finger and that's the end of the two octaves although that notes in the, in the scale shape you wouldn't use it when you're practicing the scale you can use it when you're soloing but not when you're practicing so there's the scale <laughs> Okay, yeah, so again, um, if you haven't seen any other, that's a movable scale form. If I played it with the third fret root note, that would be a G blue scale. If I played it at the seventh fret, that would be a B blue scale without you relearning the fingering. Um, that's why it's important to always use the same fingers when you're playing the scale. Uh, the PDF will tell you what fingers to use. Um, what you might notice if you're following these lessons is uh, it's kind of like a minor pentatonic scale. It's got that extra note in. It's called a flattened fifth, and it occurs twice because we're playing it over two octaves. Um, if you don't understand any of that or anything about the blue scale, check out the lessons, uh, the theory lessons, and they contain they contain uh, all the information hopefully that you should need on the blue scale. As usual, once you've got the scale under your fingers, start using it for improvisation. It's a, like I say, movable scale form. If you played, if you're using an electric guitar, if you played up at the twelfth fret. You'd have an E blues scale, so if you're listening or playing along with something like Hey Joe or Purple Haze um, in the key of E, it'd be a great scale to use, um, it'll fit over the top really well. Um, this note, the flat five, just a quick word, it's mentioned in the theory uh, side of things, it'd be your ears should tell you. It's a great note to use, but it's not a good note to finish a phrase on. So, that note doesn't sound particularly nice against the chords that fit in the, in the A blues, the A7 chord, or any of them actually, it doesn't sound that great against, but it's a nice note to use as, as a, a passing note. Okay. And it gives you an instant sort of blues type sound. So um, I hope you found that useful, and um, once you've got the scale nailed and you feel comfortable with it, start using it making up little phrases. If you're following these lessons, you should have some ideas on that um, by now. And uh, I'll see you again sometime.